Welcome back to Star Game Studios Gameplay Ability System Subseries Part 3. In today's video, we will make some minor changes to the system. If you need help understanding anything so far, just hop on Discord and give me a yell. I now have a permanent Discord link in the description. Let's roll with the changes. The first change I want to make is to eliminate a variable. We can remove the activated player ability variable in the player character blueprint. We already have a reference for the spawned actor and don't need another reference for the player base class. Next in the player base class, let's rename the variable ability type to class type. This makes more sense because at this point, we are in the base class system, not the ability system. We can also rename the Ability Interaction Interface to Class Interaction. Also, rename the function to Class Interact. I am making these changes because it seems confusing to name them Ability Interactions when initially interacting with a player class. The player class interacts with the player base class, which interacts with the player ability system. I hope this makes sense to everyone. Let's move the attack ability to the brawler class where it should be. Copy the attack punch logic and the overlap event and paste them into the player class brawler blueprint event graph. You can delete the logic from the player base class. We need to make two more changes. Change the enum player ability types to player class types. The other enum will stay the same. Now change the name of Hit1 to Brawler Class. In the base class, create a custom event. Name it Activate Class. From here, drag off and get a switch on player class types. Get the class type variable and connect it to the selection pin. There will be more class types as we progress, but there is just one for now. We need a get actor of class node. This will be BPC player class brawler. In the player character blueprint, if we call the activate class function from our spawn actor logic, we can access the logic associated with the base class and eventually the logic from the brawler class. You might be asking why the base class isn't using the class interact function. We don't need it since it doesn't use any inputs or outputs. If we add a print string at the end of the active class logic and run the game, we get a single hello on the screen. That's because our retrieve player base class call is at the event begin play and only gets called once. We need to move the call to where it gets called every time we need it. That would be every time we press the trigger ability. When we press the one key, we can see hello on the screen. If you look at the outline, you will see multiple iterations of the base class. This is because a new one is added to the scene every time we press the key. This is bad. This is very bad. This is what is known as a memory leak. We will fix this in the brawler class. You can delete the print string in the Brawler class, delete the event class interact. Like I said before, we don't need it for now. Instead, create a custom event. Name this event Activate Brawler Ability. Get the switch on player class types brawler node.
We can add the brawler ability type variable to the selection pin. Connect the melee hit pin to the do once node. Back in the player base class, add the activate brawler ability call to the logic. Before this will work, we need to change the actor class that spawns into the scene. In the player character blueprint, change the class to the brawler class. This will all work now. Compile, save, and run the game. The player will punch attack and kill the enemy using the complete ability system. We still have that pesky problem of the memory leak. You can see that now we are adding multiple instances of the brawler class instead of the base class. We need a way to delete an instance every time a new one is added. That way there will only be a single class instance at once. When the trigger key is pressed, we must add a destroy actor node in the player character blueprint. To do this, get an is valid node after the action input. We want the one with the question mark before it. Get a reference to the spawned actor. If the spawned actor, meaning the brawler class, is valid or instanced, destroy it on the next trigger event. If there is not one, then add an instance and proceed with the attack process. I just remembered that I must also attach the spawned actor to the destroy actor. This would destroy the player character if it is not connected. Compile, save, and run it. We can see that when we add an instance of the brawler class, it is deleted when we press the next trigger event. When we exit the game, we get an error. The garbage collector is trying to destroy the actor twice. Since it has already been destroyed, we get the error. It took me a while, but I finally realized we don't need the class interact call. That's because the blueprints already know about each other. There is no functionality in the class interact function and no need to use it here. The garbage collector was using the interface message to try to destroy the instance as well. I learn something new every day. I cleaned my trigger logic up a bit. Looks much better. Let's try this again without the interface call and see what happens. There are no more error messages. However, if we spam the trigger, you will see that the attack montage will play as fast as you press the trigger key. This is because the instance is destroyed before the montage can be completed. It's just starting over and over again. No worries, we can fix this. If you open your montage, pause it and drag the slider to the end of the animation. Note the time it takes for the animation to complete. In my case, it's 1.17 seconds. We can use this number to create a delay before the instance is destroyed. Now try it. I am spamming it, but the animation only plays when it is supposed to. I realize that it takes two key presses to attack punch. This is something we will deal with in a future video. For now, this is the basic setup of the ability system. We will add more abilities and eventually more classes to this system. 
For now, may the force be with you. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this valuable and enjoyable. Please like and subscribe to see more upcoming videos in this series, as well as other useful content. The chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game.